G'day, it's Graham here. Uh, if you're not familiar with the story, I've got a couple of mice that I'm trying to get. Uh, they're getting the better of me, as a normal mouse trap isn't able to to get them. They're just too small. So I've uh, I've been driven to find a way to to capture these these rodents and uh, and do it in a in a way that's uh, humane and and uh, in this case I can release them into the wild into a place nowhere near my house. So earlier on the weekend I'd completed my uh, the prototype for the design. Uh, I've got a quick mock-up of the circuit and the actual sensor itself. So uh, we'll start off with the sensor, which will be uh, mounted uh, towards the end of the box here, where the where the bait or the food will be, uh, and that way it has the, the most likelihood of being being tripped where the where the rodent will be rummaging with the food. So I've got a, an infrared LED that's inside this little piece of timber. I'll take it off. There's a 5mm hole on one side and a 0.8mm hole on the other, which I've uh, drilled out and uh, just made sure I've got all the burrs and, and bits and pieces out. What that will do is uh, channel the IR light into a nice little beam, and that way it's uh, a lot mu a lot far, far easier to create a concentrated beam to break. So the, the, uh, the beam itself is infrared, um, modulated at 38kHz, and on the other side I have a logic IR receiver. It's a match pair, so at 38 kilo, a 38 kilohertz signal will uh, drive the output to a to a voltage level, and yeah, the microcontroller will detect that and handle it according, accordingly. So in the in the final design, this will be all on a circuit board, uh, and for the meantime, this little wire is going to act as my reset switch. So it's in the locked state at the moment, but I can reset it, and uh, the servo will come straight out to the unlock position, unlatch position. And I'll show you the door. It's just a normal door. It's got two keys. Uh, I've modified the one down below so that it's uh, there's when it when it is down. Uh, there's there's no hole you know, on the door itself. And the box just has two guide rails uh, to to make sure it it always ends up in the same position. And it's uh, yeah just a box made out of uh, scrap timber I had around the the garage. So to, to give you an idea of how it works, I'll just uh, reset the device by activating the switch and it's a nice slow uh, latch movement for the servo motor which uh, slowly went back in giving me time to, to line up that key <coughs> and now it's, uh, it's, it's basically it's armed. There is a slight hum with this servo, it's an El Cheapo, I think I got it for six dollars or somewhere around that mark. But, but inside uh, the, where the sensor will be mounted uh, the rodent will, will walk past and you know, eventually trip the beam. And the door will come down, the servo will relatch, prevent the door from opening. And from there, the, uh, the whatever it, it caught will remain inside until you reset the, uh, the servo and allowing you to open the door.